As creators, we're always looking for ways to work faster, and no one knows fast like Edelbrock Performance. We've got some great workflow tips for you on today's WD Creator Series. Hey everybody, welcome to the WD Creator Series. I'm Curtis Kingsley. You know, Edelbrock Performance uses technology to create racing park prototypes in days instead of weeks. Their in-house marketing team has fully embraced technology too, with some seriously high-speed results. My name is Matt Gamble. I'm a design engineer at Edelbrock. My primary job function is to design cylinder heads from cradle to grave, from concept all the way through production and onto running vehicles. Basically, I've been a car nut my entire life, I think since I was 14 years old. It drove me to go to college and get a degree in mechanical engineering. Vic Sr. started the company. It really started as making purely racing parts for the dry lakes and then also for midget racing. You know, that speed equipment industry, there's always guys who can't necessarily afford to go racing, but want high performance parts on their streetcar. Here at Edelbrock, we have a couple of different uh, rapid prototyping 3D printers. So I'm able to rapid prototype from my model in CAD that's going to be an exact representation of what I have designed. So what we have here is a part that's just come off of our 3D printer, and I've printed a part here that is for a fit check on an engine. What we all want to see is power. We all want to be on the dyno. We want to get on the, either the engine dyno or the chassis dyno and make the big power number. But that's not the only goal. A consumer who's going to be driving their car on the street often and doesn't want to tear the motor down every weekend like a race car does, we do need to have a high level of endurance, reliability built into our components, engineered into our parts. I'm Eric Blakely and I'm the Director of Advertising for Edelbrock. I have a full team of graphic designers as well as a videographer. We also have a web designer in-house. On our side of the business, we have a lot of different file types. On the graphic side of it, they're big files. We move a ton of data. We consume a lot of server space. Being vertically integrated, we had our own print shop in-house. Um, we used to have that facility here in Torrance. Quite a few years ago, we moved it out to our facility in Hemet, which is about 90 miles east of this location. So what we would have to do is at least two or three times a week, we'd take files, rip them here, put them on a Western Digital uh, Passport drives, put them into a specially made case, and then that would literally go on our delivery truck, our semi-truck, and he would drive it out there drop it off, they would offload the files, those drives would come back, and, and really we ran a two-drive system for redundancy, but we never had a drive fail on us. We want to buy products that are reliable, that are fast. When it came time, we chose Western Digital Drives, you know, because we got plenty of stuff to worry about, we don't need to be worrying about that. We're looking for performance out of our computers that can get us performance out of our parts. We have our own foundry, so I get to work directly with our foundry to make casting tooling and make sure that everything I've designed in the computer is actually makeable. There's a lot of very rewarding parts of my job. I, I do enjoy the creative aspect of being able to create a part that didn't exist a few months before it becomes a reality. You get something in your hands and you say, all right, I designed this, I made this, it made power, it looks amazing, it's, it's a beautiful piece of art. And that is, uh, yeah, that's, that's wonderful, I love that. So the Edelbrock team is using technology to drive efficiency and collaboration. It's easy to see how it helps them stay on track. All right, everybody, that's it for this episode. You'll find everything you need to know about these products and more at WD.com. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and leave the comments below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on the WD Creator Series.